Normal cells perform many functions essential to maintaining good health. They must be able to take in nutrition and eliminate waste or toxins. Normal cells must defend themselves from intruders like unfriendly bacteria, fungi, viruses, and free radicals, and repair the damage done by them. In addition, cells must work together as a team, communicating with other cells to achieve optimal organ and immune system function. Research has already proven our cells need certain essential nutrients, 26 different vitamins, 72 or more trace minerals, numerous fatty acids, and amino acids. Since our bodies don't produce these, we must get them from our diet. Recently, scientists have discovered that there are at least eight sugars, called monosaccharides, that our cells also need for optimal function. Inside cells, these sugars combine with protein strands and form complex structures called glycoforms. The exterior of a healthy cell is covered with a dense forest of these glycoforms. Glycoforms can exchange infinite combinations of information depending on their shape and charge. Glycoforms are present on the surface of all cells and actually prevent viruses, bacteria, and other enemy cells from entering a healthy cell by blocking the entrance to the cell's surface. Glycoforms can hold on to an enemy cell until an immune system cell can arrive to destroy it. Healthy immune system cells can also accurately identify normal cells and not interfere with their function. Cells covered with glycoforms enable clear and accurate cell-to-cell -cell and system-to-system -system communication, creating an information superhighway within the body. Glycoforms play a vital role in every human physiological process. Immune system response, tissue regeneration, cell replication, growth, and structural stability. They are even responsible for the attraction of sperm cells to an egg cell surface to foster fertilization. Without vital sugars and a variety of other micronutrients, cells cannot create glycoforms. The result is a breakdown in cellular communication and immune system response. Depleted cells are unable to defend themselves effectively, so cell structures can be damaged and are not effective in healing and regenerating. In this weakened state, cells cannot communicate effectively, compromising the body's ability to identify problems. They are also unable to destroy pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi, and cannot identify mutated cells so the immune system can eliminate them. For example, when a person suffers from an autoimmune disorder, their compromised immune system may respond inappropriately and treat altered normal cells as intruders and destroy them. It may allow mutated cells to proliferate, or the immune system may not respond at all leaving the body extremely vulnerable to many types of infectious agents.